Am I live? <clears throat> Am I live? Is it going down? It's been 10 seconds. Oh, look. Okay. I currently am live. All right, let me just go ahead and just start it like I start any other video because it's weird if I don't, okay? Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Boy Swiper Boom here with another YouTube live video featuring some paletas right here. These are Mexican popsicles, some paletas, but they're not like the good, good ones from La Michoacana. They're, these are from like the actual grocery store that I just found packaged. Um, for shout-outs, requests, and dedications, make sure to hit us up on all our social media platforms. That includes uh, our most popular social media platform, which is on Instagram, uh, Love at First Bite Vlog. Once again, that is Love at First Bite Vlog. Uh, if you're not on our Instagram, make sure to hop on over there. Follow us, double heart us, DM, PM, all the M's. Hit me up. That's where you'll see all the behind the scenes, all that, blah, 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 blah. Hit us up on Instagram, Love at First by Vlog. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box below. And look who showed up. I just have this here, like an heirloom, um, just for like decoration, my feng shui. You know, all right here, cold as water bottle. If you want to get your own cold as water bottle, make sure to hit that link down below. Promo code BOOM. Get you one of these. Keep your hot stuff hot and your cold stuff cold. Cold as water bottle. You see, nice and, nice and easy, nice and, uh, you know. What up, Carrie? Uh, are you doing the SMH hand to the, I don't know what that emoji is. I'm not up on all, uh, can you guys hear me okay? Is everything cool? Can you tell me in the comments if you can hear me okay? Well, it's, it's uh, the background, this is usually the regular background I use for like when I do a live. So this is the typical background I have. Uh, the nice thing about this background is that the lighting right now is really, really nice because I got the front door open, the windows open, we're maybe an hour and a half, two hours away from sunset. So the sun is hitting the light or the sun is hitting the sun, sun is hitting the light. The sun is hitting the house at a perfect angle, so we're looking good. What it do? Yeah, that's the, am I not supposed to do the spiel? That's the, the first two or three minutes, that's the, that's the spiel. And the spiel was short this time. So fuck off, no. <laughs> no, but I, I gotta do the spiel even if it's alive, you know, because there's people up in here that don't know, you know, the spiel. Everybody hit the thumbs up. Luke B. Grum. What up, Luke? Oh, Gina's here? Adina? Ginger? Oh, Trina's in the building? Okay. Jamad? Eat with coral blushes here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me go ahead and grab a paleta. Um, I'm going to go with my favorite one. Actually, you know what? No, these are really, really cold. They're like, they're made of uh, just, none of them are crema. They're all like ice. So I like my lime a little softer. So we're going to go with, uh, there's two kinds of strawberry. There's a, uh, a crema strawberry and this is a yellow, just a regular water. Uh, we're gonna, I, this is my favorite one. We're going to go with this. You had a bad day, yo. What happened? What happened? Tell me about your bad day. Um, nothing, man. I'm at home when I was supposed to be at work. So I hope my boss is watching this live. Um, I'm not playing hooky. I'm technically sick. It's not really sick. I have a, like, my wisdom teeth never got pulled out. I talk about it in my next video I'm going to upload tonight. Um, so it's hurting. But then this one right here just been flat out killing me for days and it cracked yesterday and then the way I work is I don't like going to the doctor or the dentist or any of that not that I'm a baby maybe I don't know but I just any type of resistance I get like during this whole virus thing that's happening every single office is closed and then the ones that are open they have like an answering system and then they ask me what the is it do you technically 
Would you call it an emergency? What's your level of pain? This and that. We can refer you to this place. You don't have an appointment. We can do an appointment or this and that. Like any type of resistance. I'm just like, you know what? I'm good. I'll take some pain reliever and then I'll just, until all this is shut down, I'll go to the dentist. But I couldn't really sleep last night. That's how much it hurt. But right now it feels a lot better. Um, but yeah, it sucks. Paleta. Haley, Jesus, I'm um, all right. Let me let me bring myself down first. I'm sorry for your loss, but damn, just <laughs> just say something bad happened, and that's it. I don't want to get into it because I don't want to bring. You're harshing the mellow, man. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing on YouTube, yo? Go mourn. I don't know. Like, I, I'm not good. You shouldn't. I'm not good at this. Like, don't tell me some real life shit and then fuck. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm not the best at consoling. On a brighter note, this is very good. If you guys need a paleta. Walmart has La Michoacana Paletas, Mexican popsicles, or you can just, I'll be honest with you, go to the Mexican grocery store. They have the real ones. They have the really, really real ones, and they're much better. These are like a, a lighter, not as flavorful version of Paletas, popsic Me Mexican pop popsicles, but yeah. All those Spanish words though, paletas. That's how, you, I mean, if you want me to whitewash, it's like when I, um, you know, apply for a job, it's like, I'm Roberto, not Roberto. Mm. Okay, we're good. Some of it got on my tooth. You know, I get people all the time asking me if I should do a full um, Spanish-speaking video. And, like, I feel like Americanized Mexicans can kind of understand where I'm coming from. Like, I was born in Mexico, but I moved here when I was, like, three. And, um, you always feel like you always feel like you're 100% fluent um, in that, you know? And you'll talk to people and all in Spanish and everything. And then you almost get a job to be specifically a translator. And then that's when you start realizing, wow, I'm not as fluent as I was. It's like in English, I don't have to think about what I just said. It just comes out. Spanish, I'm like 80, 85% there. Just about. Just about. There's still a 10 to 15% of me that like kind of still has to think about it. And and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. For real. Um, I'm tired of these Mexicans shaming other Mexicans for feeling like that. It's like, bro, I know Spanish. Sorry that I lived here and not there. Like, and then, and then you have the Mexicans that lived over, over in Mexico for like 15, 20 years. And they're like, How sh I'll, you should be ashamed. It's like, why, yo? You know I was raised in Connecticut? <laughs> like, what, 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 what do you want me to do? Shit, my bad that I have this American privilege hanging on me or I don't have to fully think about what I have to say in English that I'm naturally comfortable. You know, call my parents. It's their fault. All right, let me stop. Oh, what up, Paige? What is your fear? What is my fear? Um...
Damn, I don't know. Uh, I hate aliens, like the skinny, bald-headed ones with the big eyes, like the gray-looking ones. I don't like that. When I was a kid back in the day, I used to be big on like X Files and all those alien shows. Remember those? Remember those shows? Sightings. Remember the show Sightings? Dude, it's like, yeah, if you prefer English, it's not even that you prefer, here, here's the thing, it's not, it's not even that we prefer English, it's that that's what the fuck it is. That's what, that's what it is. Like, I'm here. I, I've never lived in Mexico. I was a baby when I was in Mexico. And I moved when I was three. And we did whatever, what every Mexican family does. They go to Mexico once every year or once every couple of years until you get older. And then we kind of stopped throughout my 20s. And then that was it. That was it. I don't prefer to speak English because like I prefer to do it because this is the one I chose. Like if I could prefer to speak better Spanish, I would love that. But it just is what it is, bro. Like we just grew up here. So it's like. It's, and it's always and it's always like the Spanish dudes that that are a little bit like are reversed. They're a little bit like they're more comfortable speaking Spanish and not fully comfortable in English. So it's like they have to say this to us. It's like, well, bro, like I'm not getting at you. It's the same shit. Oh my God, Lisa ASMR. Yeah, Abby's at work right now. Do a TikTok ASMR. Are you guys on my TikTok? Are you guys not on... Who's not on TikTok yet? We're all in quarantine. It's time. Can everybody... We're all in quarantine. We're all at home. We're all doing minimal work if we are working. Can, can we all get on this TikTok um, bandwagon? Come on. I'll do it. Follow me, suave boom. It used to be Berto Smalls, and then I changed it. I know Lisa's on. Lisa's on uh, TikTok. And then all the people on here that are like, hell, no, nah, I ain't, I ain't going to do TikTok. You know you're on, like, you're on a a mukbang ASMR YouTubers live right now. So how, is it ridiculous to download TikTok? Is it? Cause you know you're in here, right? This is a mukbang ASMR YouTuber doing a live with 15 people in here. So I'm not even big time. I'm like underground ASMR mukbang. And you chose to jump on here. But yeah, but you know what? You're right. Yeah, TikTok is ridiculous. I'm gonna stick with the normal stuff like this. I'm not in the mood to watch TikTok. Are there any like, are there any fat Mexican dudes with like a low count of subs and views that I can just hop on that's eating like, I don't know, paletas? Let's do the line. Let me stop clowning. <laughs> I think we're in no position to make fun of any other social media platforms. Listen, TikTok is entertaining. It really is. It's crazy entertaining. I don't... It's like the new Vine. Mmm. This the one. Lime. Lime is the one. Mmm. Um... I haven't really been quarantined. I'm essential. Um, guys, uh, gross, but I'm essential. Like, the, you know, the, my country needs me. I'm like a hero, you know? <laughs> um, 
But all I do, all I do is literally put on my scrubs, go to work, come here. That's all I do. I don't do anything else. Brandon, I'll tell you what, man. I'll start doing that once you get a real profile picture. How about that? You're not in a diet. You are, you're pink and dark maroon. That's what you look like right now. So, you're not. I know. Travel Dude 1981, what up, man? It's always the non-profile picture, no content channels, no videos, no history. It's always those YouTube channels that have like the most opinions. If I scroll up this this comment little section, Brandon Sharp is talking so much and has so many opinions. But and then and me saying that he's probably like, oh my god, he's talking about. But what I'm saying is, come on, man, you don't do any of that. You don't. I like do videos of that and then have a real picture and then I'll you know then I'll say yeah, you do do that. You're right. What you just said is true. But until then, bro. Eh. Rocky is over there. And you have to kind of see him. We're over here moving around. Buddha. He's by the door, little cutie pie. Little cutie pie. My little slippers. Fireplace. All right, we're going back to me. All right, let me. Right there. And then I'll put it like this. Boom. There it is. Well, well, travel dude, I get it, man. I totally get it. I don't think Brandon's a troll, though. Like, I've seen him before, I think. Um, that's why people should have profile pictures, man, because I can't remember. I can't remember... People, when they say, they think I'm going to remember, like, oh my God, his trolley comment was so amazing. It's going to be in my mind forever. I don't remember, but um, I don't think Brandon's is a troll. I think he's just being funny. But I used to have a lot of trolls on this channel. I don't know where they at. Where they at? Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate that. The love and support I get from people like you, you're the real heroes. For reals. You know what, Noodle C? You're right. I don't think you were saying anything bad either. I'm bugging. I want to apologize on behalf of myself and my gender for my real behavior. Abby too. Abby too. Damn. It went from like seven people to 20 people already? Fudge. You know, it would be fun. Let's, um. Oh! Oh! Shit! Oh! Damn. Let me stop cussing because I feel like I'm going to get. This is going to get flagged. Um. Yo. Ralphie's. What up? Mr. and Mrs. Ralphie ASMR are in the building. Holy crap. These sons of bitches always send me a Christmas card every year. And my punk ass doesn't do nothing. I don't, I, every year I say I'm going to send them something. And I never do. And I'm sorry. There's no excuse, man. There's no excuse. One day when I'm in Canada, I'm going to just roll through there. And we're going to do a whole bunch of collaborations. Can't wait. Sarah, what up? No, no, Moonlight Eats is not even around. Mm. Ralphie's, you the real ones. You the real ones. Heather in the building, what's up? There's nobody in my window, it's just, 
uh, my house is kind of in a, on an intersection, so there's like cars every now and again. Yeah, Christiana's videos were good. Oh my god. Uh, I got a brain freeze. Cold water, that'll do it, right? Cold water. Ah. 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 Okay. All right, I'm good. Next paleta, coconut. Oh, Ivy's at work, though. No, she don't need to help me. You know what I was thinking about doing? Let's go. I was thinking about going on here while I'm live. Ooh, Akumi. And just going through my subscriptions. And seeing who's uploaded today. And see what's going on. Okay. Oh, damn. Coco's tube. She's live right now. Voila, that bitch. I told her not to go live. I'm going live. And there's 17 watching. <laughs> I got 24 people watching. <laughs> Nobody go to Coco Tubes or Coco's Tube. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm not, you know. Hey, travel. Travel dude. I always share the things I like. You know what I mean? Let's see who else uploaded today. Coconut paleta. Mmm. Mmm. Simply Soul. Okay. Travel Dude 1981. Upload. I shared that. Luke B. Grubbin. Upload. Oh, man. I, I missed yours, man. Did I share yours? Luke, did I share yours? Oh, yeah. I have about 630 ASMR videos on my channel, and I wanted everybody to pick a number between 1 and 630, and then I'm going to go through the numbers and then raffle. I would have like a weird, stupid idea to like raffle whatever, and whatever number I get, I'm going to do a remake of that video. Now, I didn't want to say what it was. Now you guys know. I didn't want to say what it was um, because I didn't want you to be like, oh, my favorite video is this one. Um... So, that's why I did that. Yeah. Choose uploaded. Page Alyssa uh, uploaded. Jeff the Music Man ASMR uploaded. ASMR bro. People, do people still watch SASS? SASS ASMR? Somebody told me that her, um, her views have been going down. Is that true? She's a shit. Isn't she awesome? Oh, so Frito in My Soul uploaded a I'm a TV zombie with rice and beans and salchichas video. Okay. Sounds good. Snoopy Eats. That's the homie right there. Madison Mukbang. Oh, wait. I'm missing... I'm not even paying attention to you. Damn, B, ASMR. I'm not even paying attention to what you guys are commenting. Let me go back. Okay. Uh, let me scroll up, see if I miss anything. BLG ASMR, what up? Dude, I love Del Taco. Bye, Ralphies. Your favorite video is when I showed the card and the gift gift card for the enchiladas. I don't remember that either.
Yeah. Mom's cooking. Those videos always do good. Mm. Here's the thing, too. Like, so... Whoa. Mukbang Mermaid. Um... Well, yeah, I mean, duh. Yeah, of course Brandon is a kid. I mean, it's not... I mean, if Brandon was an adult saying what he's saying, then that'd be kind of sad, but of course Brandon's a kid. Um, which is the best, Popeyes, Churches, or KFC? That is asked by Mukbang Mermaid. Um, here we go. Popeyes has the best chicken, period. Churches has the best biscuits. KFC has the best sides. Fight me. Fight me. Oh, you know what? The whole point of this video, too, I kind of want to, um... Oh, yeah, see? You agree? You agree? <laughs> um, I wanted to get on here because I've had multiple people tell me let me finish this first. I um, I talked about something in my latest video that I'm gonna upload tonight. Jesus Christ! I bought a birdhouse and I put it right here on my porch. This window is like directly to my porch. And these birds be wilding. Okay, that was it. Cheers. So, quick, do me a favor. Thumbs up, everybody in here. Thumbs up my video, please. Okay? All right? Do it. Okay. So, I appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate the thumbs up. Oh, look at y'all doing it. Look at you guys actually doing it. For once, it's about time. Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, Okay. So, in my newest video that I'm going to upload later tonight, I got into talking about, um, I've had a, a good amount of people, thanks James, tell me um, that my past videos were a little bit more personable. Like I was uh, getting more in depth with my life and talking more about the things that I went through and... Uh, Past experiences, past relationships, past work experiences, uh, career moves. Uh, and then I agree to a certain extent that I was technically doing it more back then. Um, I feel like uh, once I met Ebby and I... Uh, what up, Cora? And, oh, from Ireland. I love Ireland. I want to visit Ireland so bad. Specifically Belfast and Dublin. Because I want to go to the where... I want to go to the area that got conquered by the white people in the UK. <laughs> and, <laughs> let me stop. And then I want to go to the actual Dublin. No, I'm, let me stop. Um, but I do want to visit Ireland. Um, it's like... It's almost like Belfast and Dublin is like... It's like the way Mexicans look at Texas. Like, let's you know, Texas is Mexico. You know what I mean? Just like you guys are like, no, Northern Ireland, that's Ireland. You know what I mean? Even though I don't care who says who owns what. You know what I mean? Like, Texas is Mexico, period. No cap. Liddy. Can I get back to what I'm talking about? Okay. Everybody keep interrupting me. And they're not even thumbsing up in my video ends. ends. Okay. So, I, uh... I want to get a little like more personable in my videos, but once I got married to Evie, it was like I just wanted that life all to myself. And, you know, you don't want to put your personal stuff out there as much as you used to. And I kind of just uh, lost sense of my channel to a certain extent. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I my channel isn't where it was before. So my whole thing is I want to start getting more into this channel in the sense of being more personable and talking more personally with you guys about my life as opposed to just going on here eating a bunch of food and talking shit there there I said it so 
I want to start. Oh my God. Uh, it's my wife. She's in here. Um, no, because remember we're grilling carne asada tomorrow. So if you can buy some good carne asada st uh, steak, uh, you know the cut that I like. So if you can do that, um, yeah, buy some good meat for carne asada for tomorrow. And buy some limes, because we don't have any limes. I love you. I'm gonna love you. Um, so, I think I want to start talking. Damn, girl! I don't know. Oh, uh, buy some milk. You know, and maybe some butter spread. We have regular butter, but I want some spread. I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, cilantro. Boom. There you go. Okay, back to what I was saying. Um, before my wife beautifully interrupted me. Not rudely, because nothing she does is rude. I loved it her. You like how I did that? <laughs> you like how you know I'm saying? Uh, am I a husband or am I a husband? Okay, so I think um, I want to start doing like story times, talking about past experiences more. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking me to do like a part one, part two, part three of how Ebby and I met. Um, things like that, I think would be fun to do. Um, Ebby, this, this is very surprising, but Ebby asked me to, why don't you do a couple videos talking about your toxic exes? And uh, the idea of that sounds fun, but I, my, my, I have like regular, like funny stories of toxic exes, right? But then I also have like really bad stories, like really fudged up stories of exes. And I don't like to even surface that up and refresh it in my mind and all that stuff. Cause it's just like, number one, like I don't want to talk about my exes, um, in that way because maybe they're doing better. And, and it, I don't want to, I don't like doing the whole, like, you know, I was the good guy and they were the devils. You know what I'm saying? Like they were like, I made a lot of bad decisions. Like I did bad things back in the day. Like I, I mean, shit for every woman that, um, did a dude wrong or vice versa. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, like I picked them. So what does that say about me? Like I stuck around, right? I wanted that. I fucking dealt with it. So, um, you know, and then, uh, and then of course I also had a couple of like normal level headed, cool chicks that weren't even bad either, but I ended up being like the toxic uh, boyfriend or whatever I was to them. And, uh, you know, there's stories in that too. And it's just like, you know, to resurface all that stuff and to talk about it. And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like it's, I don't want to hear shit about my wife's exes. I don't want to hear shit about her past experiences or history with any dude. I don't. Is there a curiosity that I have? Yeah. Do I, at the end of the, at, at the end of the day, do I really want to hear it? Nah, probably not. Cause there's always a chance of me just getting upset and I'm humble enough to say that those are some of my insecurities as a man. I don't even like the thought of that. Um, and my wife is way more level headed. Like she can take it. Like she can hear stories about my exes to a certain extent. And then she just doesn't want to hear it anymore. Um, but I, I don't think I can. And I kind of don't want to show her that side. Um, it's not worth it. So, I mean, there's no point. Um, luckily, I live in a city where um, I didn't grow up here. You know, I moved here just a few years ago. Um, I only have a few people that I somewhat dated, you know, and... I don't got to worry about, like, if I brought her back to my hometown, back home, like, it'd be like, no, it, it would be a hot mess. So I do want to get more personable on this channel, but I don't want to go too far with it. Um, 
I, I think I'm well overdue for a Q&A. So if you guys would want a Q&A, I think uh, I'm down for that. I just don't know at this point so many... Like, I, at this point, this is, how, this is what's going on with my channel right now. Yes, I have 30K subscribers on here, right? I'm not generating as many views as I used to. So everybody that watches my content right now are like the ride or die, die hard. They've either been with me for years or they found me just now and they love it. And they like are ride or die, you know, like, and I love that. I kind of love that my channel is back to being, of course, everybody wants the views and the money and the, and the subs and all that stuff. But, you know, it's kind of nice that I can have like a chat and have about 20, 30 heads up in here and keep it low key nice. Um, so Vanessa, thank you. I am, I am very hilarious. So you can go ahead and follow all my content on TikTok. Anybody else can follow my stuff on TikTok. <laughs> what, a creep? I'm not a creep. Maybe. Pick and choose the stories, I don't know. Um, I, I will say this, I feel like there's a lot of a lot of high school stuff that I can talk about that's hilarious. Um, my generation, I was born in 80, so my generation, like, high school was like, graduated in 99. That's how old I am. So it's like, my generation was like, we, we have computers and we know how to use them and we're learning about new technology. We have the internet, we just got it, like, eight years prior to that. But it's like, it's still around the time where in the world, if I wanted to like go to the next town over and just restart and be a whole new person, that was back in the day when you could do that shit. It's wild, right? You can't do that shit now. You cannot do that shit now. Yeah, high school stories are wild. I went to like four different proms and uh, I think ours was called a senior ball. We had a junior prom and a senior ball. Um, one of my exes from middle school through high school uh, was like one of my closest friends too. And then we had like a love triangle with my, one of my homies. And then we all like grew up and then we found out she was a lesbian. And uh, I was like, Phew. we had no idea though. Like that was a, yeah, we have like crazy stories. Class of 99, bro. What up, Jorge? You know, it's funny, like, TikTok, the second you like anything, the algorithm, just like my whole TikTok, my For You page on TikTok is literally like food, like Mexican jokes, puppies, and like mukbang ASMR shit. It's, it's hilarious. Dude, the Nintendo shops at the mall were bomb. I think we, before Best Buy, it was called, at least in my area, in New England, because um, I, I grew up in like the Connecticut, Massachusetts area, um, it was Media Play. They called it Media Play. And like, they had like Circuit City Media Play. Arrigo! Damn, man. Yeah, favorite part. Well, no, see, the Chamoy, they don't have, the packet I got only had the mango, coconut, lime, strawberry, and another one. No, the strawberry crema. That's all I had. I didn't have the chamoy in it. I wanted the chamoy in it. RIP Radio Shack, yo. RIP Radio Shack, for real. RIP Comp USA. It, I mean, ever since, because if, if you remember, just 15, 20 years ago, man, a lot of Walmarts didn't have a, a, uh, an electronic section. It didn't. And if it did, it was like super little. Circuit City was the joint, man. You walk in there, they had all kinds of stereos. Blockbuster Hollywood video. Dang. For real, man. Yo, Blockbuster on a Friday night with your boys. Pff, loitering like hell, man. I don't even know who Ben Dean is. Y'all always want me to collab with like some big time. Uh, let me look it up. some big time uh, ASMR artists, and then I looked them up and they're like, I don't know you, 30K, hey. you know what I mean? Yeah, Ben Dean, dude, oh yeah, only 700,000 subscribers, yeah. 
No big deal. No big deal. 44 million views. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, uh, yo, they, they established this channel in 2008. Damn. Let me go to their videos real quick. Let me go and sort by oldest video. His oldest video. Oh, it doesn't, it don't even go that far. It don't, it just, he has so many videos that it just goes back two years. I can't even do it. See, can't even do it. Can you see Rocky? Yeah. Here we go. Let me show y'all. Rocky, say bye to your back. Say hi. Say hi. Good boy. Say bye to your back. Say bye to your Rocky, be cute. Be cute. Okay. He, he's like, who are you? What are you doing? And leave me alone. Right? Did he delete a lot of his old stuff? Oh, what up, Nisha Mist did I, Mystery? Mystery? Did I say that right? Was I trying to be super ethnic with that? Nisha Mystery? Damn, Western Bank, Washington Mutual, Kmart. You're going back, back. Nisha, your profile picture looks crazy familiar. Do you do... My kind of content? I don't know. Every now and again, I'll see like a profile pic and I'm like, wait, do I? Do they do like videos? <clears throat> ah, boo. Well, you should. You should do videos. Everybody should do videos. It's easy. I'm doing it right now, and it's very easy. How funny was it when my wife came on here asking if I needed anything from the grocery store? She's so cute. She's so cute. Yo, MC Nugs. Everybody's favorite video is Mom's Chicken Tacos. But guess what? Mystery, mystery, like a mystery, mystery. Oh, but you're saying it like, are you mystery? You're saying it like you're British. Are you British? Mystery. I literally said mystery. Oh, bruv. Is it is it pronounced mystery? In it, in it. Am I being racist? Is that racist? If I do a UK accent. Oh my God, London. London's in the building. It's not racist? Okay, cool. Is it because I'm brown and I'm not white? If I was white, would it be racist? Say yes. <laughs> Who cares, right? Let's all be racist. What's going to happen? Lose our jobs? <laughs> We're under quarantine anyways. We already lost them. You know what I mean? Hey, Trump, where's my stimulus check? Where's my stimulus check? Emily, what up? Did everybody, who got their stimulus check? Did anybody get their stimulus check? Hmm? AKA reparations. Did you get your reparations? Is that, is that, uh, can I say that? Or is it, am I gonna get flagged? Uh, can I do this whole video with just a UK accent? Like, see, like, and I've talked about this so many times. If the day when I go to London, with my wife, I want, I need to hone my powers in having a UK accent, but I, I, I need it to be hood. I can't, I, I, I'm hood. I gotta go and have that like, hey, bruv, bruv, hey, uh, and when we go have a little chat, a little bants, a little back and forth, a little cute in that, you know, hey, bruv, hey, bruv, you know, why you acting so posh, love, huh? You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta I, I gotta do that accent. I need to have a hood British accent. Like top boy. 
You're not posh? Aw, oh, what? Hate the queen. Damn. Damn. East London? None of us have access. We hate, no we don't. We don't hate, do we hate Trump? Are we supposed to do that? I'm a Democrat, so I guess I'm supposed to, right? Is that how that works? Let me get that check, though. That socialist check. Bullocks. Right? Right? Damn, I've been talking for 45 minutes. Fudge. Damn. Yo, how I got 16 thumbs up and 14 people in here? Yo, you already saw Rocky real quick. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I just, I feel like I'm at that age where I'm just so used to not having an awesome president because I loved Obama, but I really just more so loved his character, you know, because he, when I say this, people flip out when I'm, what I'm about to say. But what I'm, but I'm, let me explain when I say what I'm about to say before you like, before people wall out. Obama didn't do a lot. He didn't, but he tried his hardest to do a lot for real. It's just that he's just the president. He can't just change everything. But Obama was my favorite president because I, I always judge a president by their character and not their political agendas um, because what you can go down a list of like, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that. But at the end of the day, you can't change anything without really convincing Congress. And if you're not going to convince all those people in Congress, then I mean, you might convince them of one or two things, but it's hard. So my whole thing is George W. Bush was, I'm not even going to get into that, that, that right there hits hard because of 9-11 and everything and me being around that area and what happened, yada, yada, yada. Like, that whole situation sucks. Bill Clinton was like when I was a teen and he was like kind of cool, but not really. So, I don't know. At this point, I've been disappointed by so many presidents. And the last time we had a one-term president, it was in the early 80s. So, for me to even think that we're going to get a new president, you know, soon. I just, I just really feel like Trump's going to get it twice and that sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, pre appreciate it, Rigo. There's 28 people in here. Oh, there were 28 people in here. That's right. That's true. You know, I always talked about, too, um, because, you know, Ebby and I have plans to go and live in Finland uh, in a few years. But our plan is her her dream. I guess it's like the same for people that live in Europe, like everybody in the United States, eventually, like at one point, everybody to a certain extent, they want to, you know, uh, what up, Shady Cat? What up, girl? Um Everybody in the U.S., to a certain extent, most people want to live in New York or at least visit New York one time. Um, I have a lot of friends that want to live in New York and did it. I did. Um, Ebby, being from Finland, her thing is she wanted to live in Ireland and she did it. And her next thing would be she wants to live in London and see what it feels. So I feel like if when we do think about moving to Finland, I think it'd be dope if her and I moved to London first for a year um, and see, not, I, just, I don't want to just visit, I want to live and see what it feels like to live there. Um, another dream, dream of mine would be to, um, oh shit, travel dude, I was just about to say that, Hawaii. I would love to live in Hawaii for a year. Just London for a year, Hawaii for a year, and then off to Finland for a few years and then um, have a bunch of kids over there or something, I don't know. And I think, you know, having kids in, fin kids in Finland, you know, they're a socialist slash capitalist country, you know, free health care, everything. I think it'd be safe to have a uh, Yorkshire, England, Alberta, Canada. What? Like, Canada, 
I feel like a lot of Europeans think Canada is like this oasis. It's not. Canada sucks. <laughs> I apologize to anybody out there that um, lives in Canada. Um, no, no, no. When I said, hey, Nisha, by the way, when I say move to London, I don't mean directly in London. I would love to live in like a town outside of London. Um, you know, like kind of like when I lived in New York, I didn't live in New York, Manhattan, you know, Brooklyn, like right outside, you know what I mean? I don't got time like that. That rent, man, that rent in London is high. Just like if I moved to Manhattan, that's not going down. Yo, I'm saying, whoever makes videos and wherever I visit, we need to do collabs. And then we'll do like a, what do they call it? A meetup. And then we'll have like those two people at the meetup come through and it'll be weird. I met a few people from my channel. Uh, the last time I met somebody was Ebby and I went to Nashville, Tennessee. And I didn't ignore you. What'd you say? Yo, Bert, I've been watching your videos since I was 14, uh, 18. I really like your content. Keep it up. Oh, my God, Jordan. Are you, the, are you the, the cube person? Are you the cube person? Say yes or no. Tell me. Are you ignoring me now? Are you the cube person? You did those videos back in the day with the cube? Damn, I got it wrong. Uh, I apologize. I apologize. I thought, I thought maybe, yeah. I know. I know. I took the L. I took the L. But I didn't ignore you. But what was I saying before you said that? I don't remember. It's over. It's over. Yo, Nisha, start making videos and then I'll go to your thing and if I like it, then I'll shout you out. I'll share your video and then boom. It's not, it's very easy. It's very easy to do all this. All you gotta do is hit record. Hit record, start eating, start talking, start bullshitting. Boom. If you have any questions on how to start a channel, you know what I mean? Yo, yo. First of all, uh, travel dude, if I went to Cali, you know we're meeting up. I want to go to all the bomb Asian spots. Facts. So, like I said, if anybody has any questions on how to do all this crap, DM me. Yo, if you guys, do you guys follow my Instagram? Now, if you want to follow me, I love it first bite vlog. Awesome. If you want to go to my personal Instagram, it's Bertle Smalls. So go to Instagram. Get off of here. Go follow me right now on Instagram. I'll see you over there. Anybody have any questions about... Yes, use your iPhone. I have an iPhone 7. I have an iPhone 7. And, I, and I'm doing this with an iPhone 7. So what's, what's your excuse? Anybody can do this, man. And it's fun. And, it, and it, listen, I go on here and I record stuff to eat. And I end up talking about some BS. Well, how many different things did we talk about in this last hour? A bunch of bullshit, right? That's nice. You get, you know, you have the day off. You run your mouth and some shit. Vent about problems. Uh, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your work, whatever you want to do. You got an iPhone 8 Plus, dog? Damn, you doing it. The pixelations on fleek. Yeah, I said a slang word from like four years ago. I'm old. You have a condor? I don't even know what that is. Same, iPhone 7. Coral doing it. Coral is doing it. Coral uploads so much, I can't stand your ass. Let me stop. JK, LOL. Damn, over, I've been yapping for 54 minutes. Yeah, no, definitely. Sarah. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, girl. Don't laugh. I don't know what a condor is. I'm late too to the party. I'm never switching, by the way. I'm I'm staying Apple. I am a sheep. I am a sheep like everybody else. I am staying Apple. I'm not switching over. The next 
Apple phone I'm getting is gonna be the new. I always do, this is what I always do. I get the brand new new, right? The brand new new. And the only reason why I get the brand new new Apple phone is because my old one broke. And that's it. Like, I'm gonna keep riding with this iPhone 7 until it breaks, until I have to go and get one. Then when I get one, let me, I'm, let me stop, I'm lying. I don't get the brand, brand new, 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 new. I get like the one I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna spend $1,200 on this shit, but the one slightly before it, like the XR or some shit, like that's like $800, $900, like I'll do that. And I'm not buying, like twice I bought the phone outright, like an idiot, I need to go back on payments. Like that, I'm not just gonna drop a G on a phone. No, I'm an adult, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like for me, I can um, make better decisions. Yo, and favorite NBA team, bet. Let's do it right now. Um, oh, uh, Instagram is going to be Bertle Smalls, B E R T O S M A L L S. Bertle Smalls, just the way it's spelled. Or uh, just go to, any, yeah, go to, if you can't find the spelling, just go to any of my other videos, and all the description is in the box down below. Um, Favorite basketball team is always forever going to be Boston Celtics. I'm not switching over. Boston Celtics all day. I am a Boston everything fan. And no other city. No other city. Detroit? Hell no. Maybe in the late 80s, homie. Um, listen, Boston, has, we, got, we have the most wins. I don't care who you are. Whether it's hockey, baseball, football, basketball we have the most wins there's no that is a, the the sports mecca of the world i don't don't come from europe i don't care all your whack-ass sports with a net with no backboard and the fucking football with no pads all that shit no i'm good you can all you know no all day boston boston massachusetts there it is okay so fight me i'm a boss and i know we haven't won in a while we're getting a Kansas City Chiefs dog with uh, 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 with the racist ass Chiefs. Change the names, dog. Let me stop. <laughs> oh my, I miss sports. Don't we all miss sports? Can we just all agree that we we miss sports? Don't call them babies, Mary girl. Wow. Oh damn, damn. New York strip ribeye or sirloin? Uh, in the comments, tell me, everybody. Ribeye steak, um, sirloin, New York strip, which one? My wife's asking. What am I, what kind of carne asada am I making? Now, I'm personally a New York strip kind of guy. But, sirloin, ribeye, what do y'all say? Y'all Y'all ain't saying nothing. Nobody has an opinion. We got 20 heads up in here. New York Strip, boom. Filet mignon, been traveled dudes wildin'. Um, mama, go with the, um, yeah, do New York Strip. Yeah. Oh, they only have one ribeye? Are they big? You think it's enough for you and me? Uh, do do two just to be on the safe side. Do two ribeyes. Wait, wait, what? No, no, I didn't say rib. Wait, which one did I pick? <laughs> which one, Mama? Which one did I pick? They only have one ribeye. Uh, okay, do a ribeye in the New York Strip. One ribeye, one New York, and then we'll mix the Lation Nation. I love her too. I love her the most. Okay, I'm gonna love you. I think I'm gonna end it right there, guys. Hey, thank you so much for being on my live, everybody. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe, and let me know what y'all think about me being more personal in my videos. I love all the questions that were asked today. Thank you for everybody for coming out. This was super fun. Um, I could keep going because I am having a good time, but I just don't feel like every time I see him, I Rocky, did you fart? Every time I see in my subscription box somebody doing a live for like two hours, I almost want to throw up. And here's Rocky. He just threw up, I feel. Can y'all see him? Yes? No? Rocky be farting, you Okay. All right, guys. Love y'all. Bye.